Hello there. This is Camper Dave. And I got some advice for some of you first time trekkers that are going to go on a summit trip. I thought I'd give you a little advice from some past experience. So first of all, the most important thing, this is a vertex trip. We're going to go up to the top and you're going to need your Bible. You can't go on the mountain without a good Bible because you're going to need it. Let's talk about some essentials you're going to need. If you don't have something like this, you're going to be regretting it. Everyone that goes camping needs a good pair of boots. And a little advice. Make sure they're real comfy for the little toes of yours. And break them in, because the last thing you want to do is develop blisters on the first day of your trip. The elements on the mountain can change on you real fast. So, make sure you have good rain gear for the top and for the bottoms. Don't go out and get yourself one of those $2 ponchos now. That's not going to help you on the mountain. Get yourself a good raincoat that will keep you dry because you just don't want to be wet when you're on the mountain. What's that look like? That looks like some long undies. Make sure you get from some for the top, some for the bottom. Because at night, the mountain can get cold. You don't want to be cold. I think everybody knows what these are. But if you don't get these right, this will also make you pretty miserable. This will help you prevent blisters and it'll keep your tootsies warm. A thin pair of socks goes on the bottom, and a heavier duty wool pair goes over top of that. That'll help your feetsies. When you're going up to the summit, it's going to be really early in the morning on top of a mountain. That means it's going to be cold. So if you don't like fingers, they get really, really cold, and maybe frostbit, how about some gloves? Let's get some stuff out of the bag here. Uh, this is a handy dandy pillow. Doesn't take up much space, can get smooshed up, folded up, and goes into your pack real nice and easy. But if you like putting your head on something at night, I suggest bringing a pillow. Now, you can go over to yonder REI and spend a whole bunch of money on something like this. The first trek adventure I went on, I slept on one of these, which is a little mat, blows up with a little bit of air, and it didn't help me out at all. I had back, bad back aches all night long. Instead, I buy one of these here fancy inflatables. Gives you nice cushioning, doesn't take any space when you fold it up. This is especially for the old folks. The last time I went on a trip, I think one of the other parents was really, really mad that I didn't tell them the special trick of getting a nice little air mattress. But for you youngins, you actually don't have to bring either one of those two if you don't want to, because Trek will provide you with some mats to sleep on. This may not seem like a lot, but don't skimp on these. They, these are trash bags, and trash bags can go over your pack, your big backpack, and keep your things dry when it rains as well as a good container to throw all your junk in as you go along your journey and put your trash in because you can't throw that in the outdoors. Don't forget your little trash bags. There's critters on the mountain so you want a little bit of bug spray. There's generally a lot of sun too and if you don't want to get fried to a crisp I'd bring some sun, sun block. Now this is a official mountain type of hat, but that doesn't do much to keep this head warm. Now of course, when you really want to do it right, you get a nice fuzzy hat. Put that on, oh, it'd be so good in the morning when it gets cold outside. 
So don't forget something to cover up your head if you don't like your head getting cold. What else do we got in this bag? Oh, anybody know what these are? These be bungee cords. And these little bungee cords are essential to you and your pack. You will strap things all over this big pack pack that's going to be on your back. And this is a great thing to fasten all sorts of doohickeys to it. So don't forget your bungees. Let's see what else is in here. Ever seen one of them before? That'd be a spork. A spork is a spoon and a fork all in one. You get to eat all your meals off this one little spork. Isn't that delightful? And you don't even actually have any running water to wash it. You just lick it and you throw it back away. One of my sons had to tell me what one of these things were. This is a carabiner. A carabiner. Again, for straps and hooking on things, you probably want a few clips. It's nice to put on things. Ah, uh, the essential. See that little doohickey? That goes up here on the forehead at night. So when you're climbing them rocks at 2 a.m. in the morning and there's not a lick of sunshine out, you get to see the rocks in front of you and you don't fall down. When I was an unexperienced climber, my oldest son told me to get one of those and I didn't. So I wound up going the whole mountain with a flashlight in one hand, trying to grab rocks with another hand. And I tell you what, that was not fun. So get yourself a little thing, doohickey, to go up on top and light up the day. But it's also good to have in your campsite a little flashlight so you can see things at night and you don't wake up your neighbors. Last but not least, you have a day pack. This is a camelback, which you can stuff stuff in. You can put your snacks in here, and when you go up on your summit, you don't have to carry your big, big backpack. You can carry this little pack, throw your warm clothes and gloves and stuff when you get hot or not. You can put some snacks in there. And of course, what's really important with the camelback, why they call them camelbacks? Because they store all this water in it. Yeah, you have a big old bladder of water in here, a little thing here you can suck on all day long. So when you're in those fresh streams and you got to go gather your own water, you go down there and get that. I don't have a good example here today for you, but that water that you stick in there, the last thing you want to do is just start sucking away on it once you get it out of the stream. There could be some really bad bacteria in there, so make sure if you're the fancy camper, you get yourself a fancy filter pump and if you're the plain camper like me you just go out and get yourself some chlorine tabs that you drop in the water and it dissolves in there and it kills all them bad bacteria so you don't have uh, so you're not running all along the mountain so day pack camelback all your essential elements and you're ready to go track go go, go vertex and go up the mountain